welcome to our channel. In this video, we learn about how to use the OCR command and the subcommands with multiple live examples. And if you have any other queries or thoughts, send it to mylearningtricks.gmail.com. So let's start. First of all, the OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. And this technology is used to recognize text inside the images, such as scan documents and the photos. For an example, I have a different kind of file formats, such as images, scan documents, searchable PDF format, and the website. So now I'll give the brief explanation about each and everything with those things, you know, how to extract the text from image, scan document, and the website. So I'll show you. Before that, already have uploaded multiple videos about the automation anywhere and the other programming languages, such as HTML, JavaScript, SQL, Excel, and the Excel VBA. So when you have time, please watch all the videos, like, and subscribe my channel. Now directly jump into the OCR command. So first you should know the difference between the searchable PDF and the scanned PDF document. So the searchable PDF document is nothing but you can select or you can copy as well as you can sell, search anything. From here I am trying to search LAN. You can see the LAN is highlighted. So in the scanned PDF document you cannot select either copy or search anything. Now when, I, when you are trying to search it will give you the error prompt. So you cannot do. For the searchable PDF documents you can use the PDF integration command. In the commands panel, you can see PDF integration using the extract text as well as the extract form fields. Using this command, subcommands, you can automate the searchable PDF documents. For the scanned PDF documents, you need to use the OCR commands. So we'll close the searchable PDF documents. Perfect. Here we have scanned PDF document as well as the image, photos like that, as well as in the website. Here is our website, so I will show you how to get extract the information from photos, PDF and the website URLs. For that just go to the automation anywhere workbench. In the commands panel you can see OCR command, just expand. You can see the capture window, capture area, capture image by path, capture image by URL. So first we will start with capture window. For the capture window, first you need to select the window. Which window you need to capture? So here is that. You need to specify the window title. Automation Anywhere captures the window as an image. Based on that, it will give you the results. First, you need to select the window. So in my photos, the window name is photos. So just you need to select and the OCR engine. The default name is T-Select. The OCR engine default T-Select. If you want to download any other OCR engines, you can download and use that. That's up to you. In the default windows, when you are downloading the Automation Anywhere, it's automatically downloaded with the auto automation anywhere. So you don't need to download anything. If you want to download any other OCR engines, yeah, you can proceed with that. I'll select the T-Select. Then the view capture text, just you need to click on view capture text. Based on the window, it will capture the text. It will capture each and every actions. Now it's extracting the data. We need to wait for some more seconds. So once it's completed, in the capture text, field you can see the results capture text has been exactly here you can see in the image preview you can see it's the selected window the activated window has been saved in the image preview and the capture text you can see the exact results like i'll open the e-photo from welcome to our channel my learning tricks and the end of kindly subscribe our channel so here you can see welcome to our channel too and we have some extra lines over here so we need to Remove the extra lines, so I'll show you that for that. First, I will cap the capture text, I'll assign this to variable. So just you need to assign this to any of the variables and I'll display the extracted text in my message box. Just press F2 in the clipboard, you can display the variables. Just save the task and execute. Now you can see the results. The extracted text has been displayed in the message box. Then we can filter and remove the unwanted text. We can do that. We'll give one more second. Still it's running. In the runtime window you can see line 1 of 2, it's running. Using this capture window, you can automate photos as well as the other PDF documents and everything. Perfect. Here we got the results. In the message box, you can see, welcome to our channel from, kindly subscribe our channel. So everything we have extracted. However, we have some other extra text, which means, here you can see, 
in this see all photos add to we have other actions right in the window we have some other text and the other actions so it will are also extracted using this option so in order to avoid that you need to filter the unwanted text from this to this i need to remove for that just i will copy the text as well as i will use this option so between share 1 to run time window i need this text right so i need to filter the text for that i'll use from share 1 and run time window so i'll show you how to get the values so i'll open the same view capture text then you need to select the filter the capture text check box once you have selected you need to update the from and to values here you can see in the filter the capture text you need to update after as runtime window and from value should be share one keyword which means in between words you can get before and after so in the message box you can see the unwanted text which is from share one to runtime window only we need to extract but we got some un unwanted text in order to avoid that we are using this filter options now we can see the extract results and if you want to trim the capture text trim will avoid the unwanted spaces if you want you can check or leave it just click on save save the task and it will execute now you can see the exact results in the message box message box will be displayed the exact values from welcome to our channel to kindly subscribe our channel so the runtime window is still, still running we need to give one more second so here we have very less content like very capital letters as well as the very small size of contents if you have large number of contents you need to use the other options such as capture area that will avoid so much of confusions so next i'll show you here you can see in my message box you can see the exact results using the capture window i have removed the unwanted extra text so i'll show you how i have removed so using the filter the capture text option i have updated the text from and to so where i need to start and where i need to close after before and after text just i have updated it will avoid the unwanted text in my everything and i have saved in the clipboard so we have displayed everything next i will show you how to extract the text from pdf documents for that you need to select the pdf document scan pdf and the ocr engine default then view captured text it's activated the window and it's reading the text for the pdf documents my best recommendation is just use the capture area option using this capture window it will not extract correct information it seems it will extract however there is some issues with that like uh, instead of y it will consider this as b the text will be considered different kind of formats as well as additional information you will get so instead of this options you can go with capture area or capture image by path that's also will works so in the image preview you can see the pdf document as well as the image capture text you can see the capture text along with some other unwanted doc, unwanted text which is it's consider the space as well as the tab all the informations as text so it's showing displaying the different kind of values so i'll assign this into clipboard so i'll show you in the message box i'll display the clipboard so you can see the exact results so click on insert save save the task and will execute
runtime window has been started. It's activated the PDF documents window. It's reading the text from this PDF documents. So actually, it's extracting the text from entire PDF documents from the home tools, and we have some other unwanted text in the outer lines, right? In the outer documents, we have some of the unwanted lines, text, as well as it's considering tab as a text, and maybe there is a, some issues. So using the capture area, you can see the exact results. So next I'll show you how to use the capture area. So still the window is running, line three of four. Yeah, perfect. Here you can see in the message box, it's displaying the different kind of text. Please watch all of our, yeah. Our content starts from, welcome to our channel, My Learning Tricks, Mommy is. Yes. So you can see, so in my PDF document, I don't have any other text, but it is displaying the other text also. The sign in, export PDF. Here, in the outer, we have some other options. So it's displaying all the options. So using this, either you can use, filter the text from runtime window to export PDF A. Using this option, you can filter the text and some of the user needs to manually review this content since it has some other unwanted text, Microsoft Word, Document X, and convert to some of the text. So either you can use export like other options, you can use that. So I'll show you how to use that. I'll disable this one. Capture area. Using this capture area, you can extract the particular text using the PDF documents. So I need to view, cap first you need to click on capture area. You need to select the particular area first. Here you can see in the four lines, you need to select first. It's only selected the particular area. Within that, then you need to click view capture text. In the image preview, you can see the image as well as in the capture text, you can see the extracted text. Perfect. It's showing the exact results using the capture area. Assign this value into the variables, clipboard variables. And I'll display the clipboard variable in my message box. F2, clipboard, insert, click on save, save the task, and run. So this time what happened is, using the capture area, I have selected only the particular text area. Whatever the test, uh, text I need, I have selected. So it will display the exact results using that. When we are automating, it's very difficult to using the search options. But you should try. Here you can see in the message box, you can see the exact results. Line by line, everything has been extracted with accurately. If your content is very long or you have a high number of contents, you need to use Manually, you need to search something. So the same, same camp, capture area for photos. Click on capture area. Then you need to capture the particular areas. This time also, you will get the exact results. The same results you will get. View capture text. Here you can see the image preview as well as the capture text has been exact results. The extract text, extracted text is showing in the capture text. So it's showing without any issues, showing the correct values. So I don't want to execute this one. Directly jump into the capture image by path. I'll disable. So my recommendation is uh, if you have photos, use the capture window options. If you have any PDF documents, just try with capture area, which will exactly, exactly it will extract the text. It will not avoid, any, it will avoid the confusions or manual intervention. Or else if you are using the capture window options for, for PDF documents, definitely the user needs to manually validate the window. Then only you can proceed with that. Or just use the capture area option and capture image by path, which is nothing but, I'll first I'll close this image. 
you need to enter the image c drive drive as well as the file name and the extension file name and the extension is png so that's it click on browse oh sorry missed that already we have browse so view capture text just click on view capture text here you can see the image preview it will open the file nothing happened previously we have window has been opened but now it will open the window then it will capture the text so image preview and the capture text the same concept in the capture area what we have done we have selected the particular text and it displaying so in the clipboard i will assign the text into clipboard message box i will display the clipboard variable click on insert save the message box and save the task will execute the task now you can see the results from the path it's extracting all the text correct details you know without opening the file it's extracting so either if you have more than 100 files in the folder using this command you can extract all the informations without opening the file you can save lot of time or else you need to activate the window first then you need to extract so in order to avoid that conflict we are using the capture image by path in. so now it's extracting extract informations instead of capture window you can use capture image by path so done next i will show you how to use the capture image by url so for capture image by url you need to specify a website url that contains the image you want to capture so you need to enter like https url note the url of an image on a shared drive or an ftp server is not supported definitely it's not supported in my website is available in the shared drive local shared drive so it's not supported however even the https also it's not supporting most of the times for that what we need to do first you need to open the website just open the website using the open website or any other options launch website using the launch website first open the website then you can capture the text using the capture area or capture window based on that you can do still it's loading we can wait so for the url you can use the if you are using the https url you can use that url to capture the image capture image as a text you can use that like the same you can automate any kind of pdf or scan scan document any other scan documents or images anything you can extract the pdf documents so my suggestion is please go with capture area or capture image by path or else you need to use the filter the capture text option so based on the documents you need to use before and the after text previously i have used one of the document right so i'll show you here you can see before and after when you are using the capture window it will extract some unwanted text so you need to use the filter the capture text from and to text where where is your text available between that you need to use from and to text then only you can see the exact results of the text so for the capture image by url just proceed just launch web, use the launch website first open the window then use the based on the window you can capture anything proceed with that hope you learned something today really thanks for your time please like our channel subscribe and watch all the videos thanks for your time bye bye See you.